How's it going movie fans? The 16th of December 2023 is the 60th birthday of director, writer and producer James Mangold. A two-time Academy Award nominee, Mangold's career in film began as a writer for a TV series in 1986, before his feature film debut as a writer was released in 1988 with Oliver and Company. Mangold's first directorial effort came with romantic drama Heavy in 1995. Mangold currently has four projects in production as a director, and for this list we looked at all of Mangold's film credits. Here are the files top 10, James James Mangold movies. At number 10 is The Wolverine. Mangold directed the sixth installment of the X-Men film series and the second installment of the Wolverine film trilogy. Following on from the events of X-Men The Last Stand, Wolverine travels to Japan to visit a dying man whose life he saved during World War II, but while there he gets involved in a kidnapping attempt by the Yakuza and realises that he no longer has his healing abilities. The runtime's on 26 minutes and The Wolverine has a foal rating of 6.2 out of 10. At number 9 is The Call of the Wild. Mangold was the producer of this adventure film based on the 1903 novel of the same name. Set during the Klondike Gold Rush during the 1890s, John Thornton is an experienced frontiersman who comes to be the master of a dog named Buck who is a mix of St. Bernard and Scotch Shepherd who is abducted from his home and shipped to the Yukon. The runtime's 100 minutes and The Call of the Wild has a foal rating of 6.3. At number 8, is heavy. Mangold was the writer and director of this romantic drama which sees college dropout Callie go to work as a waitress at a diner where she is able to have an impact on all of her co-workers but in particular on Victor, the shy cook who Callie gets to know but Victor is unable to express his feelings to her. The run time's 105 minutes and heavy has a rating of 6.4. At number 7 is Girl Interrupted. Directed and co-written by Mangold, based on the 1993 memoir of the same name, in this psychological drama set in the late 1960s, 18-year-old Susanna Kaysen is checked into a psychiatric hospital following an attempt to take her own life, and while there she forms complicated relationships with the other patients. The runtime's 127 minutes, and Girl Interrupted has a foal rating of 7.1. At number 6, is Identity. Directed by Mangold and inspired by Agatha Christie's 1939 novel titled And Then There Were None, this psychological thriller sees a group of 10 strangers become stranded at an isolated motel in Nevada during a storm. As the group gets acquainted, they begin one by one falling victim to an unknown killer. The runtime's 90 minutes, and Identity has a foal rating of 7.2. At number 5, is Copland. Written and directed by Mangold, Freddie Heflin is the sheriff of the town of Garrison, New Jersey, which is home to several NYPD officers who sought out a town away from the streets of New York City. But when Heflin gets tangled up in an internal affairs investigation, he is forced to decide where his loyalties lie. The runtime's on 15 minutes, and Copland has a foal rating of 7.2. At number 4, is 310 to Yuma. Directed by Mangold, this remake of the 1957 film of the same name, which itself was based on the 1953 short story of the same name, is set in Arizona in 1884, where rancher Dan Evans takes on the responsibility of ensuring that captured outlaw Ben Wade gets on a train which will take him to Yuma, where he is set to face trial. The runtime's on 22 minutes, and 310 to Yuma has a foal rating of 8.3. At number 3 is Walk the Line. Directed and co-written by Mangold, adapted from two Johnny Cash autobiographies, one from 1975 and the other from 1997. This biopic depicts singer Johnny Cash's life before the fame, then as his star begins to rise, how he struggles with his demons while attempting to win over the woman he loves. The runtime's on 36 minutes, and Walk the Line has a foal rating of 8.5. At number 2 is Ford v Ferrari. As director, Mangold was part of the team who were nominated for the Oscar when Ford v Ferrari received a Best Picture Academy Award nomination. In this sports biopic, former race car driver turned automotive designer and builder Carroll Shelby is tasked with putting together a car and team which can see Ford compete against Ferrari at the 24 hours of Le Mans race. The run time's on 52 minutes and Ford v Ferrari has a foal rating of 8.8. .8. At number 1, is Logan. Directed and co-written by Mangold, who received an Academy Award nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay for the 10th installment in the X-Men film series and the third in the Wolverine trilogy. Set in the year 2029, where an aging Wolverine whose powers are dwindling is given the responsibility of getting a young girl to safety. The runtime's on 37 minutes and Logan has a foul rating of 8.8. .8. Thanks for watching, next week we'll be counting down the Fowl's top 10 best movies of 2023 and if you enjoyed this list please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.